morning. I'm happy to spend time with you again. I'm Miss Susan, and this is Godly Play. Today we are talking about the mystery of Easter. Purple is the color of kings. Purple is a, a serious color. Let's see what's inside here. Oh, I wonder what that is. Let's see, there's more. There's another one. Oh, they're different. I wonder what it could be. Wow, that's really different. One, two, three, four. Does it take four weeks to get ready for Easter? There's four pieces. Let's take a look. It's time to get ready for a king. A king who came and who will come again. But no, there's another one. Now it must be empty. No, there's one more. So there are six weeks to get ready for the mystery of Easter. Advent is only four weeks for Christmas, before Christmas. But Easter must be a bigger mystery. It's such a serious color. I wonder. I wonder what it makes. Let's see. I think I'm beginning to see what it makes. A cross. Jesus became a man and died on the cross. And that's sad. That's why purple is a color for Easter. But it didn't end with that. Easter has another side. Easter is also part joyful because Jesus came alive again. And the two are connected. So the serious sad of the beginning of Easter, before Easter, becomes happiness and joy when Jesus became alive again. And our journey lets us think about who we are during this time. The season of Lent is a time for us to get ready. Get ready to share the serious and the joy. And just like this, the serious and the sad become the joy of Easter and they're connected. They're part of the same story, part of the same mystery. We can't keep Easter just on one Sunday. It goes for one, two, three, four, five, six weeks, all the way to Pentecost. Now I wonder if you have ever seen these colors in the church. 
I wonder what happens when you see these colors. What do you think about? I wonder what part of Lent is most important. I wonder who takes care of the colors. I wonder where the colors are when you don't see them. I wonder if you see white at another time in the church. How do sadness and happiness make joy? How is that possible? Where does joy come from? I wonder how you know when joy is here. We are all looking for the joy of Easter and we will have it just like every year, just like every other year, we will have that joy again. So let's take this time of Lent coming up and look for it. Thank you for being here today. I'm really glad to share this time with you and I hope you are all doing well. I pray for you and I hope that you pray for all the people here at Terra Santa Lutheran. God bless you. Bye-bye.